again, I'm Teresa Petrie and this is the Rush Club driven by your boat club. We come to you today from Admiral D's out here in White Bear Lake. Great food, good fun, this is just a great place to be. On this next edition, we are all over the place as we can show you really what it's like to fuel the Rush. Here's a rush for you, a gal who doesn't race motorcycles, cars, but an 1100 pound animal. I'm here with Sammy Ross. Hi Sammy. Tell me a little bit, when was the first time you realized you wanted to be a barrel racer? Um, I was maybe about two years old, if that, and my, we had an arena behind our house. My parents would take me and I would watch and I would sit on the bench and be like, I do, I do. So eventually they put me in riding lessons with a professional named Maren Ludeman who lived down the road from us and she got me hooked. Here's Sammy Ross, Maple Grove, Minnesota. Look at this horse. You want to talk about some run? Come on, Hannah! How would you say someone would get involved in a sport like this? I would definitely say, like, use your resources. Find somebody near you that can help you look at look online and find somebody that can give lessons. You know, you don't even have to own a horse right away to want to do it. You can lease horses, you can just get lessons on horses. There's lots of different opportunities for people. So tell me, what do your mom and dad think about you doing barrel racing? Do you got a lot of family support or? I have 100% 100% family Great. support. I mean, they do everything that I could ever ask for to help me with this and they're behind me all the way, which makes a huge difference, I think. Does anybody else in your family ride rodeo? Or? They, my dad exercises horses with me like okay. every day, and my mom is actually a vet tech, and she also teaches equine. So, I mean, they know a lot about horses. She helps me take care of them, he helps me work them, and he always tells me corrections here and there. Cool. So that helps a lot, yeah. So, we're gonna watch you out here today. Um, walk us through like the beginning to the end. And well, they'll have works. a grand entry soon, which a lot of people do, and then you'll have a while until the barrel racing is up. And I'll warm him up about 15 to 20 minutes before, get him loose, I stretch his muscles, make sure, you know, just like a regular athlete, you want to make sure mm -hmm. that your horse is feeling well too. I make sure that I'm mentally prepared. And then I'll start warming him up, long trotting, loping, making sure he's paying attention to me, and kind of get a feel for how he feels that day. How long have you been riding this horse? This horse I've had for about six years. I got him from a woman named Carol Struby, and he's been the love of my life. In the past, have you had any bad moments, or have you ever been scared or something bad happened? Yeah, um, he's fallen on me before, which wasn't his fault, you know, and he tries to take care of me as best as he can, but there's always accidents, and. So it's just kind of how you mentally get back from it. There was times where I was like, you know, can I do this? Can I keep going? But it's just a passion that I have that I don't think I'll ever get rid of. You know, are there any times where you got little girls coming up to you saying, this is what I want to do when I grow up? What's, what do you tell them? I mean, there is lots of little girls and I give riding lessons, so that's yeah. always fun. And you know, I just really try to encourage it and encourage the parents that there's lots of different paths you can take with it. You don't have to go into like the pro rodeo. You can do more like, WSCA, you know, it doesn't have to be as intense, but there's always different routes that you can take. Well, what else do you do outside of barrel racing? Um, I'm going to school right now at St. Kate's to become a physical therapist, and I graduated from Missouri Valley College with my exercise science sports medicine degree. Good so for right you. So I'm focusing on that. I mean, I work part-time, and barrel racing is basically my life. <laughs> Well, where do you plan to go in the future with this? How long do you plan on riding? Hopefully as long as I can. I mean, physical therapy, I feel like, will be a flexible degree, and I mean, I can do it on the road, hopefully. That's kind of great. a degree I've picked for that reason, and my injuries kind of led me into that degree also, which has been great. So it's cool finding that, and I hope just to keep all of it together in the future so I can do all of it. Well, thank you, Sammy. Thank you. All right, we'll see you next time. Don't forget, you can learn more about us at The Rush Club by visiting our new website. It's therushclub.com. Upcoming events, stories, our bios, and fun little facts about us at The Rush Club all at your fingertips. While you're there, drop us a note too. We're also on Facebook, so friend us there. That's therushclub.com. What a rush. Up next, we're getting you out on the track and introducing you to a gal who is racing in a man's world. It's next, right here on The Rush Club. Stop out to Admiral D's here on beautiful White Bear Lake. They've got great food, awesome drink specials, and be sure you go to their website, www.admiraldees.com. There's no place you'd rather be than here. 
your boat club gets you out on the water better and more affordably. You're in the driver's seat with your boat club. 70 boats, seven locations, no hassles. Your boat club gives you the ease of online reservations. So relax, entertain, fish or ski. I love the convenience that we can just pop out and go out for a little bit. Say goodbye to costly upkeep, repairs, cleaning and boat insurance. Your boat club is simply the smartest way to boat. It's all yours at your boat club. Power Sports is your one-stop shop for fun year-round. There's never been a better time to get out and play. Pro Power Sports and Marine has a great selection of all the top brands. Our service and support is always there for you and we stand behind every sale. At Pro Power Sports and Marine, we love the outdoors just like you. New or used, ATV to snowmobile, dirt bike to boat, we'll capture your passion and you'll buy with confidence. And most importantly, have the time of your life. Serving you online 24 hours a day and from our Ramsey, Minnesota location. We're Pro Power Sports and Marine. We're the RV leaders in Minnesota, and Niemeyer Trailer Sales is ready to get you rolling. At Niemeyer Trailer Sales, we're family and building a customer bond since 1965. Our staff is dedicated to finding you the right RV and committed after the sale. We have Rockwood, Arctic Fox, Prowler, and Travelite. We have fifth wheels, travel trailers, campers, super service, and experience. Let us work for you online at Niemeyers.com or visit us in person. You'll see Niemeyers is the place to be. We're Minnesota Inboard Water Sports. Our mission is simple. The best boats, superior service, making a customer for life. Newer used Minnesota Inboard has an amazing selection, a metro and northern lake location. Family owned Minnesota Inboard is proudly the Midwest number one dealer of direct drive inboards and the nation's top Malibu dealer. Only the latest water sports in our pro shop. And our service team is king. Enjoy the water like never before. The perfect boat awaits. Soon to have a new Excelsior location at Minnesota Inboard. Welcome back to the Rush Club, driven by your boat club. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Up next, we have a lady who is racing in a man's world. Everything about her road is tough. This Molly is not only up for the challenge, she is chasing it like the wind. Rush Club, we're here at Elko Speedway, Minnesota, here with race car driver Molly Rhodes. Molly, tell me, when you were a little girl, did you ever look up at mom and dad and say, I want to be a race car driver <laughs> when I grow up? Um, probably not when I was little, but when I turned 16 is when I really got the itch to be driving cars. How do you get involved in race car driving? Like, how do you get started? Most people get started by their parents or their grandparents. Um, I'm a first generation racer, which is kind of odd around here, but um, my brother, he just started, he built a car. One day he had me and my twin sister come out and do like a time trial thing and I was faster so I got to drive his car the next year out here. So just hopped in and haven't got out. And when you're out on the track, what, what's going through your mind? You have to be totally focused 100% of the time. Um, you're racing up over speeds of over 100 miles an hour, inches from the next crazy guy next to you. Have you ever crashed? <laughs> yeah, lots of times been doing this for 14 years and wrecked a few cars, flew off the track a couple times. Some it's got to be expensive. Ones. It is super expensive. Um, I work probably like four jobs and everything goes right into this car here. Okay, so what, what kind of car is this? This is a super late model. It's an all tubular chassis. Nothing um, has ever been on the street like itself. Um, it has over 550 horse in it with a two barrel carburetor. Uh, the bodies are all fiberglass and aluminum. Do you feel like you're a role model when you're out there racing knowing that you got little girls out in the stands just dreaming to be where you're at today? Yeah, you don't think about it when you're on the track, but definitely afterwards when you come in. Um, the pits are flooded with little kids at the end of the night and um, there's always tons of kids in my car at the end testing it out and they're ready to hop in it when they turn 16, they say. But yeah. Um, you always hear that one little girl that says, Mommy, I want to be a race car driver just like she is. So that's always really neat. And that's why we do it. And we're not making a million bucks out here. We do it pretty much just for our fun and the adrenaline rush of it all. Do you really get that rush when you're yeah. out there racing? Yeah, you do. You get a little anxious right before it, a little jittery. But then when you're on there, it's, you're totally calm. But it is a huge rush. You get out and you can't hardly breathe. Your heart's pumping and a little shaky. It is awesome. Awesome feeling. 
Describe to us a typical week uh, for a racer like yourself. What, what kind of training do you do or where, where do you practice? Um, during the week, Mondays, we usually get the cars unloaded after the weekend, um, tear everything apart, go through it all, make sure we didn't bend anything, wreck anything, change the oil, do all that kind of stuff. That's all week long. We don't pretty much wrap that up until Thursdays we come out and practice. Every once in a while they have practice here, otherwise over at Raceway Park in Shakopee. Um, practice some Thursdays and then get, get it rolling for the weekend again. And then we race Saturdays and Sundays. Saturdays at Elko Speedway, Sundays at Raceway Park in Shakopee. And then um, also I'm going to be racing uh, in La Crosse, Wisconsin for the Oktoberfest weekend. So that's the second week in October. It's a whole week long racing. Of, there's probably 200 or 300 cars there. It's a really cool deal. Do you see a lot of other women in this sport? Um, I've only raced against another woman one other time, and that was in the beginning of my career. There's other women out here in the lower divisions, but I'm the only one um, in this division in Minnesota and most of Wisconsin. Do you ever get any crap from the guys? All the time, yeah. No one likes to get beat by the, by the girl, especially the one girl. So, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much nonstop, but I've earned a lot of respect to the guys over the years. So most of them are pretty good. You'll find that one that will never let you pass them and always has to hit you, but you get past it. Well, thank you for being here, Molly. Good luck today on your race thank and your you. future success. Be sure you follow Molly Rhodes at mollyroads.com and we'll see you next time. Hey, summer's still young, so get your calendar out. Here's some of the events and shows that you need to know about and that we're keeping an eye on at the Rush Club. Up next, we're talking outdoor toys and all the stuff that makes outdoor kicking that much better. It's off to Pro Power Sports and Marine, and it's ahead on the Rush Club. Stop out to Admiral D's here on beautiful White Bear Lake. They've got great food, awesome drink specials, and be sure you go to their website, www.admiraldees.com. All right, it's 5.30 a.m. We got a car, a couple cameras, gonna go have some fun. I can get closer. Here's the true test. Chris, let's see what you got. <laughs> NOS, high performance energy. Drink NOS, fuel victory. That was a blast. I'm done. Get the party started, dial it. Pit bull together with Bud Light, here we go. We're Minnesota Inboard Water Sports. Our mission is simple. The best boats, superior service, making a customer for life. New or used, Minnesota Inboard has an amazing selection, a Metro and Northern Lake location. Family owned Minnesota Inboard is probably the Midwest number one dealer of direct drive inboards and the nation's top Malibu dealer. Only the latest water sports in our pro shop. And our service team is king. Enjoy the water like never before. The perfect boat awaits, soon to have a new Excelsior location at Minnesota Inboard. Pick up the latest issue of Wheels of Thunder magazine. If it's on wheels, you'll find it in Wheels of Thunder. Full color photos of bikes, trikes, cars, trucks, and even sleds. High performance are right off the street. Mind blowing power, speed, and custom touches. It's all in Wheels of Thunder magazine. Plus, find out about the latest races, rallies, and custom products and services in your area. Check out Wheels of Thunder on Facebook and follow them on Twitter. Wheels of Thunder. Welcome back, great to be with you. I am Teresa Petrie and this is the Rush Club. The Rush Club really is a busy place, so each week I'm joined by two of my besties. And in case you haven't met us yet, here we are. My name is Jenny. I've always loved the outdoors. I've always loved the outdoors. I, I love to fish, mostly. That's my favorite thing. That's why I was with the Bikini Ice Fishing Team 
and went out there and drilled holes. And then I also, uh, while I fish with my dad a lot up north, so we troll and we catch northerns and walleyes. And I also used to help them in the woods because we live out in the country, so I'm kind of a tomboy like that. My name is Andy Anderson, and yes, it is a boy's name, but my dad was hunting when I was born, so there you go. Bow hunting is extremely a great sport to get into. Um, my dad sells Martin Archery for one of his livings, and I remember going up in the woods with him and setting up 3D targets and putting on you know, 3D shoots to, to have families come out and enjoy enjoy nature and not only that, shoot some, shoot some 3D and practice at what they love to do. I'm Teresa. I grew up in the cities and, you know, hunting and fishing and getting out beyond where I've been gr growing up here, you know, I just never had the opportunity or knew anybody to get involved and just over time got to know the right people and before you know it here I'm doing all of it and man you haven't lived until you've gotten out there and gone hunting, gone fishing and seriously got to enjoy the outdoors. I do have a very girly side but then I am very tomboyish at the same time. You know I don't mind helping my dad split wood on the log splitter. I don't mind. I love doing that. It's father-daughter time, which I love for that. I learned how to ice fish this last year because I just moved to Minnesota recently, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Going out there, sitting on the ice all day, and fishing for walleye. Like, first time I ever had walleye. We're used to salmon and trout back home, you know? So, it was great. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Time now to get an update on the latest and greatest outdoor toys, courtesy of Pro Power Sports and Marine. Here's Jenny. Hey there, this is Jenny, and I'm up at Pro Power Sports and Marine with Todd Amar. Nice to see you, Todd. Nice to meet you as well. And we're just taking a look around here and looking at some of the equipment. And I have a question for you. What exactly would you describe Power Sports as? Pro Power Sports and Marine is a comprehensive one-stop uh, destination for uh, all your outdoor needs. Uh, and we sell anything that basically has an engine and fuels your outdoor passion for whatever recreational activity you're into. So you have quite the selection here. Um, what would you say your biggest sellers are? Um, right now, personal watercraft is hot because of the time of year, uh, but also we have uh, spider uh, three-wheeled roadsters that are really, really hot. It's a unique vehicle in the segment. It's an uh, on-road on uh, motorcycle with two wheels in the front and one in the rear. Real safe vehicle, and uh, people are really, uh, really starting to enjoy that vehicle. Right, I've seen a lot of those on the road lately. Yep, so they're getting all over the place. So your sales must be pretty high. So in the bike region and then the sea -Doo's that we have behind us here. Do you want to show me a little bit about your sea -Doo selection? Well, sure. This is the, uh, this is the biggest, baddest uh, two-seater recreational watercraft on the market. It's uh, our XPX, new for this year, new hull, 260 horsepower, supercharged and intercooled. It's basically for the enthusiast. It's a rocket ship on the water. Nice. So by yeah. biggest and baddest, you mean fastest. Like fastest. And yeah. dangerous. And, and well, I, could be. It could, yeah, it could be depending on, on how you use it. Yes. Who's driving, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then this one we have behind us. This one would be more family friendly. Yep, that's the uh, that's the recreational segment. That's a, that's a powerful machine, but it's also got a suspension in it, just like a, a motorcycle. It's a, it's got a suspension. It's a suspended hull, and it basically takes the chop out of the waves, and it's a real comfortable all-day cruiser. Yeah, it's really classy looking. Yeah, yeah really like sharp it. looking. Yeah. So. What about um, the four-wheelers that you have on the other side of the store? What are you interested in? What's? Um, I like something that can tear up the country. Okay. That doesn't okay. stop me. All right, Todd, so why don't you tell us a little bit about the four-wheelers? Well, this one here that we're looking at is a, is a new Outlander. It's a new G2 chassis. It's new from the ground up. It's a 1,000 cc. It's, uh, it's one of the biggest and baddest uh, ATVs uh, on the planet. Uh, it's a big machine. 
but hop up on it and see if you enjoy it. Yeah, it is pretty big, and I'm not that big, so. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can handle that? I think I can handle it. <laughs> this looks like a lot of fun. Thank you so much, Tom, for the tour, and it looks like you have an amazing selection here. So if you'd like some more information, go to propowersports.com. Each and every week, Minnesota Inboard brings us our lake updates. So if you're getting out on the boat, here's a Rush Club look at lake water temperatures. Up next, we'll check the local lakes for you and meet two ladies who have a catchy name and a fishy story. It's ahead on the Rush Club. Stop out to Admiral D's here on beautiful White Bear Lake. They've got great food, awesome drink specials, and be sure you go to their website, www.admiralds.com. We're the RV leaders in Minnesota, and Niemeyer Trailer Sales is ready to get you rolling. At Niemeyer Trailer Sales, we're family and building a customer bond since 1965. Our staff is dedicated to finding you the right RV and committed after the sale. We have Rockwood, Arctic Fox, Prowler, and Travelite. We have fifth wheels, travel trailers, campers, super service, and experience. Let us work for you online at Niemeyers.com or visit us in person. You'll see Niemeyers is the place to be. Pro Power Sports is your one-stop shop for fun year-round. There's never been a better time to get out and play. Pro Power Sports and Marine has a great selection of all the top brands. Our service and support is always there for you, and we stand behind every sale. At Pro Power Sports and Marine, we love the outdoors just like you. New or used, ATV to snowmobile, dirt bike to boat, we'll capture your passion and you'll buy with confidence. And most importantly, have the time of your life. Serving you online 24 hours a day and from our Ramsey, Minnesota location. We're Pro Power Sports and Marine. All right, it's 5.30 a.m. We got a car, a couple cameras, gonna go have some fun. I can get closer. Here's the true test. Chris, let's see what you got. <laughs> NOS, high performance energy. Drink NOS, fuel victory. That was a blast, I'm done. There's no place you'd rather be than here. Your Boat Club gets you out on the water better and more affordably. You're in the driver's seat with your Boat Club. 70 boats, seven locations, no hassles. Your Boat Club gives you the ease of online reservations. So relax, entertain, fish or ski. I love the convenience that we can just pop out and go out for a little bit. Say goodbye to costly upkeep, repairs, cleaning, and boat insurance. Your Boat Club is simply the smartest way to boat. It's all yours at Your Boat Club. Here's one for you. I got two answers to every single guy's dream, women and fishing. I'm here with Heidi and Heather, two sisters who started a website called twochicksinarod.com. They got tips, tricks, do's and don'ts, and all the stories of how to go fishing. Ladies, you're two chicks in a rod.com. Tell us how you guys started this. Well, we're sisters, number one. We have a family fishing tournament, and we just go out every year with the kids, and whoever, you know, whichever family gets more fish. My family skunked two years in a row. And so at the campfire that night, it was the conversation about why. Why don't I catch any fish? And so the, the idea being we spend all this time and money and lots of effort and we don't catch anything and so what are we doing wrong it just kind of spearheaded us trying to figure out how to fish with our kids um, get the excitement back and learn how to fish we decided that we're fishing for basics we're going back to basics asking Minnesotans what what works for you how does it work what do you use do you fish deep do you fish you know shallow so we, we're going back to basics to try to find out how to fish so where did you go first We've been, we, our initial thing is we, we have some professionals we've been out with, but then we'll show up at the lake accesses, various places, yep. and just talk to everyday yep. people, the young kids to the older yep. fishermen who have tons of experience. Okay, well what kind of boats have you guys been on? Or Ooh, some fabulous oh. boats. <laughs> really? Yeah, we're a little you know, boat envious. The, yes. the, the really, the, the old the old aluminum yep. boats though, with the waves hitting the sides of those boats, that's that's the best. Classic, just it's just classic. old school fishing. And you know, that's the idea is we're not all professionals, we don't all have great boats, so how do you just get out on the end of a dock or just in a basic boat or with a friend and just knowing enough just to maybe catch a few fish. So what about your husbands? What do they say about this? 
Are you they're teaching them fishermen. too? Well, they're not fishermen, no. <laughs> no? At first they were just, I mean, as the kids were kind of giggling about it, thinking, "Are you, you guys are crazy, you're not going to do this. But um, we decided, you know what, we're going give it to give it a whirl. And you know what, at the end of the day, if we learn how to fish and we become a better anglers, it's just so oh, now they're super supportive, very supportive. And if we help the general, you know, public. I've, I've had so many friends come up to me and they want to go fishing with us. And we're not professionals. We don't claim to be at all. We're just trying to be the conduit between the professional or even the, the experienced fishermen yep. to find out what are those tips. Because you watch TV and those shows are so fun to watch because they're reeling in those huge fish, you know, and they've got all the fancy equipment. But it's like, how do we just drill that down and make it real. Right, because you get a little lost watching those yeah. shows. If you don't know the basics, you get a little lost. Exactly. Well, you guys have been out on the water with a few yep. professionals. Yep. yep. We go out with people um, and all different types of people. That's a really our concept is it's, you know, we've been out with professional fishermen like Matt Peters, who's a fantastic yes, bass fisherman. check us out, great guy. And we've been out, um, we were out for the governor's opener and met tons of just totally qualified anglers, but people who just fish on the weekends up to professionals. And then most of all, we hang out at um, Lake Access. Yep, and, and we, we talk to people, fishermen who are coming in, and talk to them about what did you catch, where did you catch it? A lot of them don't want to give you that, but um, <laughs> were you fishing deep, shallow? Um, and they love to talk about their catch and their day, just their day, their experience, what they were what they were using, um, how they you know got on a reef and caught the big one or landed the big one or not. So it's fun to talk to people right when they get off the lake mm -hmm. and find out what, what was working. Well, how do people get a hold of you guys? We have a Facebook page, mm -hmm. um, Two Chicks and a Rod. Um, just contact us, like us on Facebook. Um, we are we love, we have fishing fan photos. Mm -hmm. So send us your fishing photo um, of you and your great catch. And we love to hear from people. We love to get tips. We do have a tip um, section on our Facebook. You know, give us what works for you. And if you've got ideas for places that, you know, if you want to go fishing, we'd love to do some unique uh, river fishing or, yep. you know, Different. maybe there's a tournament. We, you know, love showing up at tournaments. So if you know of a great tournament, send us an email. Take us fishing. Yeah. <laughs> take us I'm fishing. in. Us, you're taking us out. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, you can learn more about us at The Rush Club by visiting our new website. It's therushclub.com. Upcoming events, stories, our bios, and fun little facts about us at The Rush Club, all at your fingertips. While you're there, drop us a note too. We're also on Facebook, so friend us there. That's therushclub.com. What a rush. Well, that's it for this week. Please drop us a note and friend us on Facebook. We want to say thanks to the team that's put the show together each and every week. I'm Teresa Petrie. We'll see you next time on The Rush Club.